The British Library has been working with the Qatar National Library and the Qatar Foundation since 2012. It's all about opening up the library's collections to as wide an audience as possible. So we've been working on developing a website that's the Qatar Digital Library, putting as much content and as many expert articles, making it available for users in English and Arabic, and making it completely free. I believe that it creates a new dialogue between our generation and the older generation to talk more about the history and to have information from both sides, so it is unique. We've been delighted with the success of the project so far. More than a million items have been digitised. That's in itself an extraordinary achievement, and that's a lasting achievement now. But the reach to users has been fantastic. Over a million users, nearly nine million page views. These are very, very significant figures, and that's only set to grow now as the whole project becomes part of the mainstream culture of scholarship about the region. The partnership with the British Library through the QDL affords us the opportunity to offer to our patrons and researchers a material that you, we wouldn't be able to find or access any other way. This chart is in the, in the office records and is on the QDL. As you can see Qatar as a fully formed peninsula here with a detailed history of how the chart was made and all the previous surveys that they, that they based it off of. The Qatar Digital Library is for everybody, scientists, geographers, people who are interested in the present but want some historical background, or people who are just taking a look for illustrations, for novels, for artwork. The possibilities are endless. It's very useful to the researchers, not only from Qatar and the Gulf area, but from, from all over the world. وما نراه ونلمسه الآن هو جهد عظيم ورايع يربط بين الحضارات من الشرق إلى الغرب من الهند وشرق آسيا إلى أمريكا وإلى قارة أوروبا. You won't find other digital libraries out there with the sorts of resources that we have in QDL because of the the geography specific content. It makes it very strong for Qatar and for the region in terms of a resource, and it's something we're very very proud of. This is my favorite item in Qatar Digital Library Portal. Giving you such an access online, wherever you are, to a material with that kind of resolution, that will help the researchers to do their research better and easy and wherever they are. We are diving in history and looking around, so it's like a door to the 19th century. It's nice being a part of this. It's I'm like I'm contributing in the next step of technology and history being together. The immediacy of access to records has been really extraordinary. The provision of metadata, of keywords, suddenly opens up vistas to research which were not possible with paper archives. We've been incredibly pleased by how well the Qatar Digital Library has done. It's a real gem of a partnership for the British Library. There's something really quite special about two national libraries coming together and producing this wonderful resource. We are happy that we extended our project into phase three and we are hoping to be able to cover additional material that shed more light on the state of Qatar and the Gulf and the Arab world in general. We've been on a journey to really push the boundaries, test what's possible in terms of creating a global digital resource and the prospect for knowledge exchange, partnership, different teams from both libraries getting together to learn from each other is going to be part of the story of the next few years.